Hi everyone, Steve Shu here, and today I'll be unboxing a new 360 degree camera called the Insta360. Now, not many of you may have heard of the Insta360 before because this product originates from China. Now, the Insta360 is a camera, 360 degree camera with two spherical lenses that is just like a Ricoh Theta S. But the primary reason why I got Insta360 is because it shoots in 4K. All right, let's begin unboxing the Insta360. Now, one thing I want to say is I think I might be the first Canadian to own this product as this camera is not yet stored on any major retail stores that I've seen just yet. All right, let's open up these sides. And before I open, one thing I want to say is that this box is huge. I mean, it's almost like three Rico boxes put together. Okay. And, oh, that's cool. It comes with its own carrying case. Now, I don't have to like get a case on its own. I can have this whole thing in here. Compared to the Ricoh Theta S, they only gave me this. But uh, one thing to say is that this is almost twice the amount of cost as the Ricoh Theta S, so you better give me something awesome. Thank you, Insta360. Pop this up bottom. Oh, I got the manual, microfiber cloth, and some white stickers. Not too sure what these are yet, but I will find out. Now one thing I want to say is that a lot of times since this is a made in China product, my expectations are not very high, but I do want to see if they have any, you know, Chinglish translations so far. They look okay. Legible English. Not bad, not bad. Oh, okay, they got some screens. That's good. At least they give you a lot of background in terms of how to use this and calibrate this camera so far. So I'm happy with that. Now I'm just gonna read this a little bit later and let's get to what you are here for, which is opening up in set 360. I almost feel like this is Zelda, you know, opening up a treasure case. I'm still amazed by this box. It's so cool. They give you a, a carrying case. Yes. Okay, here we go. Wow. Uh, I'm, I'm a bit speechless. This is very nice. I, I was not expecting a made in China product to come in such nice packaging. They come with uh, nifty USB cables. And, oh, that's nice. They actually come with a memory card, a 32 gig memory card. And one interesting thing I want to say is that the reason why I got the Insta360 is because they have external memory. And this thing is ginormous. I mean, I saw some video previews of this, but now holding in my hands, this feels like a brick. It's not that heavy. But I feel like, you know, it's one of those first old age cell phones, like a huge ass Nokia. But this is pretty big. This is almost like three, four Ricoh Theta S put together. And look at the size of this lens. This lens is way bigger than the Ricoh Theta S lens. That is cool. So one thing for those who are not familiar with 360 degree cameras is that this one in particular has two lenses at the front and back and what it does is that it actually stitches the video or pictures that you're taking together which is a lot better than if you were to buy you know six GoPros and stitch them all together whereas this already stitches it for you that's one of the reasons why I bought the Ricoh Theta S and now I have this Insta360 that I'm very curious to see how it performs on the field Look at a few other things. Got a uh, extension mount. That's nice of them to give. Charging cable. And let's take a look at the bottom. So we have the external. Oh, that's cool. It actually has an external mic too. So I guess if I were to create some 360 degree VR videos, I'll have, I can see if I can plug in, you know, a, a, a better sound recorder has the micro SD slot, reset button, power cable, and the USB connection. 
and we have uh, side buttons here and on the top, which I think is the power button. All right. So me being very Asian, I tend to like to keep the wrapper on as long as possible until it becomes all dusty and you have to take it off. Okay, wow. Hey, look at that. So it actually has a little um, LCD screen to tell you the operations of the camera itself. So I need to charge this because now it just turned off on me because of low battery. That pretty much concludes the unboxing of Insta360 as well as some initial thoughts on the camera itself. Once again, uh, I can't keep saying this enough, but subscribe to the YouTube channel and we'll test this baby out. Alright, thanks everyone for watching.